all this week, our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar has been in Switzerland looking at our region's contribution to the CERN project. Now, the giant underground lab has brought discoveries such as the existence of the Higgs boson particle, basically the glue that holds everything in the universe together. Well, for his final report, he took a journey around the huge laboratory looking at the benefits the work there could bring to all of us. CERN is so big there are fleets of CERN bicycles and even tiny CERN cars to get around between experiments. So let's take a tour and meet more Midland scientists. This is the ALICE experiment. Like all of CERN, she's getting an upgrade right now so her doors are open. There's more iron in those red bits than in all of the Eiffel Tower. So she's 10,000 tonnes. Her day job is to recreate and then study conditions that existed moments after the Big Bang. But doing that brings real benefits to the world outside CERN. To do cutting edge research, we have to generate cutting edge technology. So um, at CERN, we are pushing the cutting edge all the time. So the technology that we'll be using for uh, the upgrades just you know, didn't exist uh, a couple of years ago. In fact, some of it doesn't exist yet, but we're still working on it. Pushing technology to its limits is vital to this research, but the scientists know the same technology could have a huge impact on the world outside the lab. So let's travel to another experiment, LHCB. They want to understand where all the antimatter in our universe has disappeared to. But the researchers also work on ways to use their technology outside CERN. We also have a huge opportunity to use the, the technology that we're developing the R&D and to work together with uh, colleagues in other areas so that the benefit spins off uh, not only into industry but into other areas of, of science. In practice that means parts developed for this experiment are also being used for high-tech cancer treatments right now in the UK. Finally we're back with Atlas where they made and measured the Higgs boson. It's what they set out to do. But the young researchers working here say there's still so much more to investigate. And of course that means more spin-off technology for the rest of us. If you worked in the business world, you could have all of your results for like the last year and you say, oh, we did that well. Um, but you wouldn't just stop there. You'd kind of go, well, what can I do with these results? Like, so like, how can we make things better in the future? And finally, the biggest spin-off from research here was the invention of the World Wide Web, created in a room just over there and given away to the world for free. Who knows what they'll come up with next. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, CERN.